Concept Use of should, must, have to, ought to Part 2 There are two types of modal verbs of obligation. We have those that primarily express a firm obligation or necessity, must and have to, and those that express a recommendation or moral obligation, should and ought to. To express firm obligation, we use must and have to. Last lesson, we talked about using must for personal opinion and have to for giving a personal opinion. Example 1. Jane has to travel a lot for her work. Example 2. Mark is really a really nice person. You must meet him. Meaning that I recommend this. Task 1. Fill in the blanks with must or have to. Number 1. You must see a doctor at once. Number 2. I have to be at school tomorrow at 8am. I have an exam. Number 3. You mustn't touch that plate. It's too hot. Number 4. I had to see a doctor because I felt very sick. Here we use the past tense. Number five. I had to break the window. I lost my key. Number six. The manager isn't here. He's had to go to Paris on urgent business. Number seven. Tomorrow the president will have to open parliament. Number eight. She's having to move because she can't stand the noise. Number nine. I'm having to take out this detonator very slowly to avoid an explosion. Number 10. Oh, you're so kind. You didn't have to do it as well as that. We use must or have to to express certainty or a strong probability. Example 1. He must be over 80. He was born in 1930. Example 2. If my brother's not in London, he has to be in New York. Example 3. I've got all the right answers. I must be one of the winners. Example 4. If I remember correctly, it has to be here. Task 2. In some of the following sentences, must is wrong or unnatural. Correct the sentences where necessary. The first one is an example. It is later than I thought. I must go. This is correct. Note that have to is also correct. Number two. I must work every day from eight to four. This is incorrect. The correct version is I have to work every day from eight to four. Number three, you must come and see us again soon. This is correct. Note that using have to is also correct. Number four, Susan cannot meet us tomorrow. She must work. This is incorrect. The correct version is Susan cannot meet us tomorrow. She has to work. Number five. I must work late yesterday evening. This is incorrect. 
The correct version is, I had to work late yesterday evening. Here we use the past tense. Number six, I must get up early tomorrow. I have lots to do. This is correct. Note that using have to is also correct in this case. Number seven, Sam wears glasses. He must wear glasses since he was very young. This is incorrect. The correct version is, Sam wears glasses. He has had to wear glasses since he was very young. Here we use the present perfect tense with since he was very young. We use should and ought to in stating a recommendation or moral obligation. Example one, you should stop smoking. This is equivalent to you ought to stop smoking. Example two, it's raining hard. The children ought to come indoors. Example three, I didn't know you were married. You ought to have told me. Example four, if you'd wanted to succeed, you should have worked harder at school. Example five, this pullover's got holes in it. I should get a new one. Or, this pullover's got holes in it. I ought to get a new one. Example six, that's awful. You really oughtn't to have done that, you know. Task three, the following article is about teenagers watching too much TV. Fill in the blanks using should, ought to, must, or have to. The negative form of each option may be used as well. Tips for watching TV healthily. TV provides us with entertainment and information. However, watching too much TV is becoming a problem in Hong Kong. Some students are addicted to watching television, especially dramas. Teenagers, number one. Follow the following advice. Teenagers, number two. Pay attention to the kinds of television programs they watch. Some of them, such as documentaries, can be educational. Some programs on some channels contain a lot of adult content. I strongly urge that parents, number three, let their children watch these kinds of programs. Parents, number four, also bear the responsibility to choose suitable programs for their children to watch. While you are watching television, you, number five, eat too many unhealthy snacks like chips, sweets and chocolate. You, number six, also move your body regularly. Furthermore, if you watch television too much, you will become less sociable. Finally, you, number seven, sit very close to television. Otherwise, you will get short-sightedness easily. Answers for task three. Number one, should or ought to. Number two, should or ought to. Number three, must or have to. Number four, should or ought to. Number five, shouldn't or ought not. Number six, should or ought to. Number seven, mustn't. Now, do the exercise below to test yourself. Goodbye.